Hey everyone, so today I want to talk to you about um, your data collection and what we're going to be looking for whenever we come to your classroom as far as your um, instruction goes. Um, this is the summary form for your students. So um, every lesson that you teach, you're going to put the lesson number, the date you taught it, and then the score that the child made. Um, if that child's absent that day, you'll just put absent. Um, you may only teach a child two or three times a week, but the dates that you teach them, just put the dates on there that you um, had them. And this right here is going to be your proof that you were serving that child on that day and that you were giving them um, instruction. So um, I actually keep this folder at my front desk. So I have it in like Spire Quick Checks. Um, I have two groups of Spire this year, so I've got group three on this side and then group one on this side. So at the end of class, they'll come up to me and I'll do their quick check. So everything's in this right here. I have it all stapled together. So I'm good to go whenever I start uh, my instruction. I'm not running around making copies of anything. So I have the recording form on front. I have the form B. I give this to them at the end whenever. So if I finished the short A lesson, I would give them form B on Friday. Um, and then I have the quick checks also in here. So I give one of these every day. So this is like their exit ticket from class. Um, you can actually give form A before you begin. Um, probably if you're in a self-contained class, you'll have more time to do that. I don't have a lot of time to do that. So on Fridays, I give them um, a spelling test and the form B. So whenever you have finished a lesson, you give this back to the student and they put this in their personal portfolio, their student portfolios. So whenever we come to your class, we'll say, can we see your student portfolio? And this is what this is all we're going to be looking for is this form and seeing um, what your kids are doing. And hopefully they're making at least 80% because 80% is considered proficient in SPIRE. If, um, you know, you teach a lesson and at the end of the day you see that your whole class is making like a 60 then you should you know that should tell you that hey you need to reteach that lesson so this is what we're looking for as far as your student data forms let me know if you have any questions and have a good day